keyframing 101 and shotcut. You've probably seen keyframes in almost every video you watch when it comes to transitions and, you know, this cool effect. So basically it's really easy to do. All you have to do is add whatever you want to keyframe. I'm going to be adding this and I'm also going to add a video file to go underneath that. So I'm going to drag this onto my timeline just like that. We have this video here and then I'm going to go over here, click on video track one, then click control plus I. That will add a second video track, which you can probably name it whatever you want. I'm going to leave it as video track two. So now I'm going to drag my PNG image here onto video track two. And now it looks something like this. Now what you want to do is go to the filters tab, which will probably be more like over here. But because I like the way I edit, I leave it over here and it's just easier for me. So if you want, if you want to move it, all you have to do is click the little square and it picks up the box and you can drag it to wherever you want. Click add filter, add a size and position. On the filters tab, you want to click on this little stopwatch. Basically what that's going to do is add a keyframe. This is one keyframe. Your keyframe section, like I did with the filters, will most likely be down here along with the video track. And if it's down here, all you have to do if it's down with your timeline is it will look like this. Just click on keyframes, just like that. So I guess I'll leave it down here for the purpose of simplicity because that's what it's probably going to look like for you. But anyways, you have your first keyframe here. I'm going to drag this to the beginning of the clip. What you want to do is put your video, put your PNG, your image, wherever you want. I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to even tilt it a bit and then I'm going to take my cursor and on the keyframes timeline, I'm going to drag it a little bit forward. And I'm going to drag my character over this way. And then I'm going to add, just like I did with the size and position, on that you have to add separate for rotation. It's not that hard, just go down and click the stopwatch. And what I'm going to do right here is when it gets to this point, I'm going to flip it some more. And then we're going to go even further where I'm going to bring it over here and flip it like that. And then I'm going to take it off screen and flip it just a little bit. So now you get a little video effect of it kind of going across the screen. That is how you keyframe an image. There's other things you can actually keyframe here like opacity. That is how transparent and not transparent is. You can add a keyframe for this where it goes from fully transparent or fully visible to fully transparent or a little bit transparent but basically that makes it kind of fade out and you can do this for a lot of things you can basically do it with anything I like to use it for my text I can show you I already have a set preset for my text I like to add two texts by the way to make that Tommy in it text style as well which is really cool this is what I do and if you want a tutorial on how to do that I actually have one but if you want me to remake a new one make sure to leave a comment but yeah that's keyframing 101